Good evening and happy Father's Day. Thanks for joining us tonight. I am Ashley Thompson. We'll have your top stories in just a bit, but first, those morning showers have cleared out. Let's take a live look outside right now. That heavy rain has moved out of here. I believe the sun is shining right now. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Valdez joins us with a look at Atlanta's most accurate forecast. Jen, is that rain gone for good or what? Yeah, for most of us it is. There are a couple little showers in Far East Georgia, but as you saw in Midtown Atlanta, downtown Atlanta, the sun is out. And what a difference a day makes. Looks gorgeous. That rain we had earlier and overnight was because of Tropical Depression Claudette. The storm now, the center of the storm, about 80 miles west of Columbia, South Carolina. It will continue to move through South Carolina as we head through the evening and overnight hours. Then as it continues to push away, we'll see drier and drier conditions moving in from west to east. So that's when we'll see some improvement from the storm. Right now, West Georgia is dry. Metro Atlanta is is dry, but as we take you into Clark, Oconee, into Greene County, into Putnam County, still seeing a couple little showers. Again, this is the back end of Claudette that will continue to push out the rest of tonight. So here's what we're expecting hour by hour. Here in the metro, we'll be dry from here on out, partly cloudy for the next several hours. We will be dry overnight, but tomorrow, the rain returns, and we'll see even more of it on Tuesday. I'll pinpoint the exact timing and amounts coming up. Thanks, Jennifer. And remember to download the powerful CBS 46 app. Stay ahead of the storms with alerts down to your zip code. You can find the app in the Apple App Store or on Google Play. And we are starting to see some of the damage left behind by those storms. New video shows a tree that crashed onto a woman's car. Take a look at this. You can see it wedged under the massive trunk, which is piercing the driver's seat. CBS 46's Mary Smith spoke with witnesses. We spoke with people who live in front of this tree. They tell us that they were sleeping and woke up to a massive crashing sound. You can see just how large this tree is and that there is a car underneath it. We're told that a woman was trapped inside and taken to the hospital. I was laying in my bed. Gerard Simmons says he was relaxing Sunday morning when the sound of rain was interrupted by a massive crash. I just heard a big old uh, thunder and lightning ball. And then tree fell down in my driveway. A large oak tree crashed down on Donald Lee Hollowell Parkway near Eugenia Place. Firefighters say the weight of the tree came down on this car along with power lines trapping a woman inside. She was taken to the hospital. Here is video tweeted by Atlanta Fire Rescue showing several massive tree branches in the vehicle. People living nearby, including Simmons, were left without power. You can't even get out the driveway. The power lines and stuff all the way down. You know, this, this, it happens all the time. And the trees keep falling down. This is the second time it happened. Though. The street was also closed off for several hours, rerouting traffic as Georgia Power worked on the power lines and crews removed the tree. In Atlanta, Mary Smith, CBS 46 News. Developing tonight.